here. First things first time now for say what? Brooks Kepka has the second best odds to win the 2019 Open Championship. He was asked about his practice routine. Say what? I just practiced before the majors. Regular tournaments, I don't practice. When, if you see me on TV, that's when I play golf. I mean, he's not a team, uh, yeah. effervescent personality. <laughs> I mean, Brooks should be more famous than he is, but some of that's his own doing. It's a little understated. He's a good looking guy, he's Brooks, in amazing shape. Great he's shape. Might be the best physique of any of the best golfers on tour. He's got the most successful. Well, it depends on what you like. Golfer. You know, if you like a little more sh short and squatty and everything, if you like your, your, your tree a little leaner. How, I, how, is he shorter? I guess I didn't. I know. mean, he's not Dustin he's John. Stopped. Yeah, he's not yeah. six he's five. Yeah, but I just meant he might be the most. It, you know, you like him a little thicker though. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Do it. Just go out when you did yeah, this thing. Show he me does. That. I, I swear that. Do and art when he goes off the dribble. Go off the dribble, yeah, Nick. Show me that. Yeah. No, but this the, the best is when he tries to do the muscle. Brooks Kepka's six feet, otherwise known as yeah. one inch shorter than me. Yeah. And you're stocky, Nick. Mm -hmm. Go off the dribble, man. I'm going the dribble, I like it. Rays, Yankees, Brett Gardner doing Brett Gardner things. Off the bounce. Yeah, you like man. it off the bounce? It's about, time, it's about time for me and some of the staff maybe to go to you Yankee Stadium. You gotta get to a Yankee game, Let's Steve. do it. Reds and Cubbies. Not you, man. You're not Albert Amora Jr. sliding over the shoulder grab. This one hurt a little bit. Now, Wait, this, what is, hurt? this is a amazing play. Greg Gardner's play is like a three and a half stars. This is a full five stars. Where did sliding he over the shoulder, almost into the ivy. This is a great play. Oh, yeah, that, the cinder right there on his tushy, man, that hurt. Oh, okay. That's what I was waiting for. Speaking Finally, of falling on your tushy, Rockford number 11. High school, Shaden Clanton. Watch him fall down right on the tushy. This is AAU summer ball in transition, and you're trying to take a charge, kid? You deserve all the... Now, you might be able to win me over. It's AAU summertime. I might go try to contest that one. Yeah. But regular season, I'm hustling back. Just what the coach said, get in a good position. Take that charge with my chest, mm -hmm. not with my hips. Wanna mm -hmm. Take it with your chest. In or out? Say it with your chest. No. Say it with your chest. No. Uh, Say it with your chest, Jenna. I've been trying to do that for morning, a week. Every morning, Nick. Talk. Every morning. Right. Vegas came out with their expected NBA win totals this week, and the Clippers lead the pack out west to 55 and a half wins. They won 48 last year, then added Kawhi and Paul George. Nick, you went around on the Clippers winning at least 56 games. I am out. I think the Clippers, compared to what Vegas thinks, are going to have a disappointing regular season. I think Paul George probably not going to be ready for the beginning of the year. Kawhi Leonard probably going to play 65-ish games, and they don't have the overall depth Toronto had to withstand Kawhi missing as much time. Toronto was 17-5 and in the games he missed. I think they're a... 51 52 win team. I don't think they're in the high 50s, so I'm out. Jenna, I'm in. Paul George wins them an extra four game. Kawhi Leonard wins them an extra five games. How many win last year, Nick? 48. Oh, that would get them right over the hump. I'm in. Okay. I like it. Chris got him at 57. You yelling at me, told me to be quick. Next up, Andre Iguodala. Quit rushing, Chris. The He's Grizzlies doing math. are still searching for the perfect suitor for the former Finals MVP, and the Clippers are reportedly among the teams interested in Iggy's services. Nikki Winter out on the Clippers being the best fit for Iggy. I'm in. I hope they don't get him, but I'm in. If the Clippers get Andre Iguodala, they will have the best, second best, and third best players in the league at defending LeBron James. If you were drafting guys just to defend LeBron, they would have Kawhi is your number one draft pick. Over the last five years, you, get, you make a great Paul point. George, your number two draft pick. Andre Iguodala, your number three. He would, every minute he played against them in a playoff series, he would have one of those three guys guarding him. So I think they are the best fit for him. I don't know if that's where he's going to end up, but that would be a dynamic addition. Yeah, I think the style, it would fit him there, but I think it's a better fit for him in Denver. So I'm going to be out. All right, he started there in Denver. I believe the overall leadership, what he brings to that locker room, overall championship experience. Have, imagine having him in that game seven against Portland, okay? He makes the difference. I believe with those younger players, he's a tremendous influence on them in the locker room. And see, Denver right now has nobody to guard LeBron. Nobody on the roster, he could do it. All right, next up, Anthony Davis says the Lakers-Clippers rivalry is going to be an exciting one. Vegas agrees. The two L.A. teams are on top of the odds to win the title next season. Chris Carty went around on one of the L.A. teams winning the title next 
this coming season. Ooh, I'm in. I'm in, man. The hottest city in the country, L.A., for basketball. LeBron, Kawhi, A.D., Paul George, Doc Rivers. Oh, it's going to be exciting. I'm in on it. There's going to be a parade in Los Angeles. I'll reveal that later on. The 15 Which days one? to the NFL mm -hmm. season, a long to wait, uh, in the end uh, of October. October. Yep, yeah. around a little before Halloween. I'm also in. And if it's... Uh, I'm not going to say which team. I got a feeling which team. I got a feeling what the final's going to be. Say, don't, but I'm also in. They told me to be quick. Don't say. One of the teams from LA. They're going to have receipts. Or one of the teams from They're going to have receipts. One of the cities so I the used NBA to live finals, in is going to win What's the title. happening here? Next stop, what? Rushing through everything. I want to hear some stuff. Let it breathe. Let a, uh, next up, NFL.com ranked the best wide receiver duos heading into the season. Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry top the list. Chris Carter, you win around on OBJ and Jarvis Landry being the NFL's receiver duo. Uh, I think best they, I think duo. they are the best. I think they're fully supported by the other people. Being the offensive coordinator will get them in the game plan, and their quarterback will get them the football so they can make plays. But if we were talking about triplets, man, I might have to either Kansas City, Tyreek Hill would be in there, but Julio Jones and what they're doing down there. Um, Julio Ridley and Sanu would be the best threesome, but the best duo is, of course, Beckham and Landry. I, I'm totally in, absolutely, for obvious reasons, the most skilled wide receiver in football, Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, one of the most reliable from a catch standpoint, mm -hmm. the best duo in football. It's one of the reasons why Baker Mayfield is my MVP pick, a little extra. A piece of yeah, tell the herd. Are you on the herd today? No, man, I got to go to the doctor, man. I've been you a think? under the weather. I've been a little sick. I got to figure out what's going now on. Listen, bro, I fixed your hair. I can't fix your voice. I, my voice used to be good. Coming up. Went on a trip to Cleveland with Jenna. I ain't been the same since. sexy thing happening with you right now, Nick. Uh, are the Cowboys about to lose an All-Pro this season? That's next. You on get ready to lose a partner. If you mention anything to do with sex. <laughs>